Good morning, everybody. I want to introduce you to a new segment that I'm going to be doing weekly. Uh, it's called Five Minute Mondays, and these are just going to be quick recaps of maybe some games I played over the weekend, maybe some news that hit, you know, over the course of, uh, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or, or something that's, you know, eating at me or something like that. <laughs> so um, let's jump right in because the whole purpose of it is it's five minutes. It's a quick recap for you to get some, some information and some news. So um, was able to play a game this weekend that I've had on my list for a very long time and for a multitude of reasons never got around to playing and that was At the Gates of Lo Yang by Uwe Rosenberg. And Gate At the Gates of Lo Yang is part of his Harvest trilogy um, of which I'm not a terribly big fan. Um, I, I played Agricola and I like Agricola but the problem was it wasn't hitting the table enough for me not to have to relearn the entire thing and the variety of the cards was a bit polarizing uh, to the people that I was playing it with, mainly uh, my wife and I. I know we could probably dive into it and, and make it a game that we played regularly and could overcome that, but there's just too much of a variety. Uh, so, At the Gates of Luoyang, I felt was a, a fantastic game. Um, it was very typical Uwe fashion, you know, very, very punishing in, in respect to, you know, if you're not balancing things right, I made some some bad mistakes. Um, there's four sections of your kind of player board area. There are um, regular customers, walk-up customers, uh, market stalls, and then special workers that basically give you abilities. And I loaded too many regular customers early on and didn't have my production because you have fields that you add every round. But Wow, great game, out of print, uh, liked it enough, my wife liked it enough for me to snag a copy this weekend on eBay. So. That was pretty awesome. I'm um, glad to be having that. And, and I think outside of Fields of Arl, it'll be my second favorite. Fields of Arl is my favorite Uwe game. And then I think At the Gates will be my second. I'm not really counting, you know, Patchwork or the, the smaller games, Agricola, All Creatures Big and Small, which I really like as well. Those are those are different games um, for me. So looking forward to, to owning that. Um, I was also able to play uh, Porta Nigra yesterday, and that is an Eggertspiel game licensed here in North America uh, by Stronghold Games. And that was quite quite a good game as well. Uh, Wolfgang Kramer and Michael Kessling are my favorite design team, and they have been since I got back into the uh, hobby gaming world way back in 1998 uh, with Tikal, which was also a Kramer-Kessling game. So I've played a lot of their games over the years. I think they have something like 30 to 40 games as a design team published and that's just insane so they keep cranking it out uh porta negra is part of the great designer series it's number one in that series which i believe was followed up by um uh, 504 by friedman freeze and i don't know if number three or number four out i don't think dark moon was part of that so um i'm not sure how it continues but uh Porta Negra, great set collection, um, area majority game, really, really enjoyed it. Very great, you know, tactile, you know, um, vertical, you know, rising component to it. So um, if you're even remotely interested in area majority or set collection or things that look really pretty, I, I think you'll enjoy it. My wife and I found the gameplay pretty simple. Uh, shout out to Rado for for his video on that. That's always how I, I try to learn by a video and then I jump in the rules. It makes reading the rule book uh, so much easier. So was able to get two, two euros to the table this weekend, uh, which was pretty awesome. Uh, also want to touch base just on a, on a, a couple quick things. Um, I, uh, I got my hands on a quiver and this quiver is a, a deck box of sorts, but I think it has a lot of implications for the board game community. So um, I'm gonna be checking that out uh, this week, putting some games in it, seeing how it works for, for board gamers. Cause I think primarily it, it's like marketed for magic cards, but it also holds a lot of card games, but I don't wanna just put card games in it. I wanna see how it does for, for you know board games that don't have big boards that don't need to fit in there. So uh, thanks so much. For tuning in hope you enjoy five minute mondays we'll see you back here next week but you can also tune in and subscribe uh, for my blog as well have a great day guys take care